So our project is a little less on the sciencey side, more on, um, well, uh, a, a scientific look at what the arts uh, might might mean. Yeah. Um, so um, our approach is probably a little bit more um, simplistic when you're talking about using sensors in journalism. So. Our original story idea was to figure out if we could find an X factor in ballet. And that was a little bit broad. Um, but the idea was, you know, we know how to measure Kobe's success in sports because he has 29 points per game, 14 assists. But at Ballerina, we really don't know what that success is. So we decided to look at Grace in ballet. Um, and grace is basically a fluidity of movement that's created by muscle contractions made to look effortless. Um, so again, we couldn't really find out what grace was. It was still too broad. So we had to look at specific movements in ballet. Um, and, and those, this is kind of like an idea of what we went through to filter out the dance moves. We were looking at, is there a performance that we could look through? Um, but that was just still too broad. So we found that three moves, which is the tendu, the saute, and a tomble, um, were interesting enough and could kind of give us an idea of what the data meant. So we had a professional dancer. Her name is Maggie Alden. Um, she's an apprentice dancer at the Minnesota Dance Theater, and she's been dancing for 11 years. And then we had a mystery dancer who's an amateur, um, little experience, and doesn't have a specific dance or ballet style. So once we uh, put together the kind of premise that we're looking for grace in a much more uh, uh, a pinpoint way, if you like pinpoint certain moves and exemplify that as being uh, a large picture, we, we needed to figure out how we could actually capture that. So we, um, we needed um, first the hardware. The big decision was between a, a motion capture system versus uh, basic like accelerometers and gyrometers. Uh, we chose uh, accelerometers because they're much more entry level. You can buy them over the counter. Uh, what we used was the Nintendo Wii remote, which you can buy 30 bucks. Um, and then once you have that, you can connect it to uh, through the Bluetooth to your computer uh, and use this program called the Osculator, which reads in data every hundredth of a millisecond uh, wherever the, the Wii remote is at any point in time. So with those two together, you put a little piece of Python together to spit out a, uh, a CSV, which has all these corresponding um, values associated with it. So every hundredth of a millisecond, you get a CSV with a certain value set, and um, it comes out like that. So that's the system. Uh, once we had the system, the only really problem was we needed to apply it. So we got Maggie uh, strapped the sensor to her ankle, thankfully. and. Uh, and this was kind of our first example of uh, the data we captured. So this is a saute, uh, three jumps, and as you can see, there are uh, three valleys and four peaks, and that's kind of the exemplification of a single move. So once you have that, uh, repeat it a bunch of times, see what that looks like, see if you can compare any similarities. Um, we also put a pirouette in there just to, you know, see what that looks like, but it's, there's a lot more variation because it's a much more complex move. Um, so yeah. So ultimately what we came up with was we had the option of kind of comparing how, like she does three bounces, for example, three jumps, and so compare that five times in a row. You can see that the jumps patterns are extremely similar um, and compare that to the entry level dancer. It's much less, uh, I guess, concise, yeah. So uh, the same thing we did with the more complex move, like a tomble, uh, if you can possibly guess, which of these might be the more experienced and the less experienced. So um, this was kind of, you know, just a, a way to look at what grace might mean overall in a very particular manner. Uh, we, we had a very short period of time. This is for a class, thanks to our Mark Hansen. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so ultimately the mystery ballerina happened to be me. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but we'll go into that another time. And, uh, our future ideas, we think that there's a lot of great implications for, um, for ballerinas overall, uh, what this could mean for um, medical compensation as an example. Uh, they exert a lot of force on their bodies, et cetera. Um, so yeah.